Hey everybody in the IoT Nation, this is Rob Tiffany for your IoT Minute. Want to take a security timeout, as we often do, just to recap and make sure we've applied security to all the things I've walked you through so far. I've talked about all these devices uh, that are maybe smart, intelligent, connected products. Each one of those needs to have a unique device ID, needs to have its own hash, password kind of token thing, uh, or X509 certificate for if you're doing mutual auth. Uh, when it's going from a device to that gateway that I've talked about ad nauseum, uh, the gateways have to authenticate those devices as they're coming in, making sure, yes, I know what that device ID is. Yes, your token's cool. I'm going to let you in. That gateway has to be encrypted. The volume, the hard disk, the stuff in it, at data at rest, it has to be encrypted. Then it's doing all its stuff. And then when it sends its stuff outbound, upstream to the next server along the way, whether that's a core platform in the cloud or on-prem, it's got to do outbound-only connections, just like I always say with devices only doing outbound connections to reduce attack surfaces. Never be listening, even if you're looking for commands. It's going out. Every time you're going across the Internet or any network, you're going over TLS 1.2 or, or a VPN, if that's what you want to do. Uh, and then as you're streaming into your core platform, same thing, core platform, authenticates you. Do I know what this device ID is? Do I recognize this hash token? Do I recognize this certificate? If not, you're not coming in. I'm gonna blacklist you, you're out of there. Um, when I finally let you in, I'm gonna drop you in the message queue. The volume where that queue is, it has to be encrypted. Remember folks, every step of the way, encryption, authentication, I gotta be logging so I can do auditing. Um, it's never ending. Uh, if your security doesn't work, IoT is broken. So make sure you make it happen. I'm out.